Have you noticed that social media platforms are pushing for more video content? Whether it's Instagram Reels, IGTV, or those awkward gamers live streaming GTA 5 on Facebook, it's clear to see that video content is king. In fact, it's projected that more than 80% of all internet traffic will be video content by 2022, and that the revenue of streaming giants like Netflix will triple by that time. There's just one problem, though, and that is the high cost of reliably delivering this increasingly high-quality video content to viewers. Theta is a cryptocurrency project that hopes to be the solution to this problem. Theta has already partnered with the likes of Google, Samsung, and Sony, which all see the value in its decentralized video streaming protocol. The Theta token has seen a 200x increase in price over the last year as a result, and briefly cracked the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. So today, I'm going to tell you why I think Theta still has some room to grow, and why it is one of the most valuable projects in the cryptocurrency space. Before you grab your popcorn, you need to know what you're in for. I may be a man of many talents, but being a financial advisor is not one of them. So nothing in this video is financial or investment advice. It's just a juicy piece of educational content in my crypto paradise. If you're new to the beaches of the Coin Bureau, aloha. My name is Guy, and it seems I forgot to zip up by fly. There we go. This channel is filled to the brim with the information you need to make your crypto brain swim. News, reviews, exchanges, DeFi protocols, guides, and NFTs are just a few of the topics I tackle. If you're crazy for everything crypto, subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell so you always get your fix. I've left a few timestamps in the video timeline that you can use to optimize your viewing experience. Feel free to skim over the subjects I'll be discussing today, and don't hesitate to skip ahead if you feel the need to do so. Okay, that's enough intermission. Let's see what Theta's been up to and where it's headed. If you've never heard of Theta before, here are a few things to underscore. Theta is a project by Theta Labs, a software company based in San Francisco that specializes in decentralized video delivery. Theta Labs was founded by Mitch Liu and Jie Long in 2017 as a means of developing a solution to the video streaming issues they were having with their initial video streaming venture, Theta.tv. The Theta blockchain is this solution, and it went live in March 2019. In contrast to centralized delivery networks, which broadcast video content from a centralized server, Theta uses a network of nodes to relay video content to viewers. This setup not only lowers the costs for video content distributors, but also makes it possible to stream 4K and 8K video with minimal buffering. To incentivize nodes to participate on the Theta network, users who secure the Theta blockchain or relay video streams earn rewards in the T-Fuel token. Viewers can also earn small rewards in T-Fuel just for watching streams on the Theta network. Since the Theta blockchain is based on Ethereum's blockchain, it is smart contract compatible and supports both fungible and non-fungible token standards. Naturally, T-Fuel is used to pay for any transaction fees associated with minting and moving these tokens, including the Theta token, which is used for staking and will eventually be used for governance. Theta is quite centralized as it currently has 14 validator nodes and supports a maximum of 30 validator nodes. These validator nodes are run by Theta Labs and the multiple tech giants Theta has partnered with since its launch. Now, Theta offsets some of this centralization using a network of guardian nodes who double check the blocks created by validator nodes. There are nearly 4,200 guardian nodes at the time of shooting and nearly 40,000 edge nodes. Edge nodes power the Theta Edge network, which is the first fully decentralized peer to peer video content delivery network. Unlike validator nodes and guardian nodes, edge nodes do not stake Theta to earn T fuel. Instead, they just dedicate their computing power to relaying video streams for the Theta network, including the Theta Edgecast, which functions as the front end for the Theta Edge network. 
Any video content on Theta Edgecast cannot be censored or taken down, which is a big deal in my book. This is in contrast to Theta.tv, which also leverages Theta's technology but is centrally controlled by the Theta Labs team. Now, if you missed my previous video about Theta, I do recommend you watch that once you're done here. Open it up in a new tab using that link in the top right. If you watched my last Theta update, you'll recall that Theta had just released details about Theta 3.0. And to say that I glossed over Theta 3.0 is an understatement, so I'll start by doing it justice. Interestingly enough, the whole purpose of Theta 3.0 is to onboard as many edge nodes as possible. To achieve this, Theta 3.0 will make some major modifications to TFuel's tokenomics. As I mentioned a few moments ago, edge nodes currently earn TFuel just for relaying streams, and it turns out that these rewards are not very lucrative. This is a problem, because it means that there isn't very much economic incentive to participate as an edge node and uphold Theta's Edgecast network. To solve this, Theta 3.0 will make it possible for edge nodes to stake TFuel and become elite edge nodes that will earn extra TFuel. TFuel staking rewards will be distributed based on network uptime and the amount of TFuel staked. As a cherry on top, 25% of all transaction fees made on Theta's Edgecast network will be burned. Since TFuel is used to pay for these fees, it means that TFuel could theoretically become a deflationary asset with enough transactions on the Theta Edgecast network. TFuel is currently inflationary to the tune of 5% per year, and this will increase by 2 to 4% per year when Theta 3.0 goes live to pay rewards to elite edge nodes staking TFuel. Theta 3.0 was originally scheduled to launch at the end of this month, but will now be launching at the end of June. According to Theta Labs, this delay was to, quote, ensure the edge network functions efficiently as it scales to 100k plus elite edge nodes and to incorporate some building blocks for our longer term NFT vision. Their explanation also highlighted the fact that Theta has delayed network upgrades in the past for the sake of security and have consequently never had their blockchain grind to a halt like many new crypto projects. Theta Labs also seems to hint that they are working on some cross-chain NFT integration with Ethereum and even hopes that the Theta blockchain will become the go-to blockchain for all cryptocurrency NFTs. Apart from the delay to Theta 3.0, Theta has continued on its course of exponential growth. In early December 2020, Theta enabled its smart contract functionality. Theta Labs also reduced the stake required to be a Guardian node from 10,000 Theta to 1,000 Theta to account for the increase in Theta's price. One week later, Theta Labs released the Theta browser extension wallet that makes it possible to interact with dApps built on Theta. Shortly after that, Theta Labs introduced the Theta Token Minter, making it possible for anyone to create fungible TNT20 tokens without having to enter a single line of code. At the end of December, Theta Labs enabled staking for, quote, pre-elite edge nodes, which would make it possible to stake between 10 and 100,000 TFuel and earn real TFuel for helping Theta Labs test the feature. In January this year, Theta Labs introduced video transcoding to the Theta Edge network. Now, for those unfamiliar, video transcoding involves converting the format of a video stream so that it can be viewed on different devices, i.e. a smart TV versus a laptop. That seems to have sparked some chatter at the World Poker Tour, which natively integrated the Theta protocol and TFuel payments on its platform. Theta had previously partnered with World Poker Tour to stream poker 24-7 on Theta.tv. In February, Theta Labs released ThetaSwap, the first DEX on the Theta blockchain. If the name didn't give it away, ThetaSwap is a clone of Uniswap. Although ThetaSwap currently only offers trading between tokens on the Theta blockchain, Theta Labs is working to bring wrapped versions of other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to Theta and ThetaSwap. That same month, Theta Labs partnered with Lionsgate to stream Hollywood classics on Theta.tv. This marks the second time Theta has partnered with a maker of Hollywood movies. To add to the hype, it was also revealed that Grayscale had filed to incorporate a trust for the Theta token. 
Now, this news went by relatively unnoticed, and I suspect that's probably because Grayscale's Theta Trust is still waiting to get the green light from regulators. In March, Theta.tv became available on The Line, one of Japan's most popular messaging apps, which boasts nearly 170 million users. Sony's European arm also became a validator on the Theta blockchain. If that's not impressive enough, Theta Labs also secured its second US patent, which is for the incentive structure of its decentralized streaming protocol. This builds upon Theta Labs' first patent granted last year, which was for the decentralized streaming protocol itself. Theta Labs also recently partnered with Cinedyne to stream everyone's favorite video content genre, anime. So, this barrage of bullish news has blasted both Theta and T-Fuel to all-time highs. When I mentioned Theta as one of my top crypto picks for 2021 in mid-December, it was trading at around 75 cents. Just going to put that out there. Anyways, Theta recently hit an all-time high of $15, which is a 20x move from December's price if you'd sold the top, and a 200x move if you'd bought Theta this time last year. While I'm not sure how many of you managed to sell the top, the good news is that Theta seems to be consolidating quite nicely just around $12 and will likely go for new all-time highs in the coming months. Besides the much-anticipated launch of Theta 3.0, Bitcoin dominance has also been dropping over the last couple of weeks, while the total crypto market cap has continued to grow. In other words, money is moving into alts, and if this trend continues, we could see an epic alt season this spring that could extend into the summer and take Theta and T-Fuel on a wild ride. That's not all Theta has going for it, though. In contrast to most cryptocurrency projects, Theta has a real-world use case that's easy to understand, a functioning product that's high in demand, robust tokenomics, and even a fairly equitable token distribution. Theta has a maximum supply of 1 billion, all of which is technically in circulation. Most of that supply is held by retail investors like you and me, and almost 60% of Theta's supply is currently being staked. Not only that, but there are still another 16 slots open for enterprise validators. Now, I wasn't able to pin down the minimum Theta stake required to run a validator node, but it seems to be 2 million Theta based on the Theta Explorer. Assuming Theta Labs finds enterprise validators to fill those slots, this would work out 32 million Theta of buying pressure for an unstaked circulating supply of roughly 400 million, which is quite a bit. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't change the fact that Theta has likely seen most of its growth for this bull market, given its massive market cap. By contrast, T-Fuel looks like it's just getting started. T-Fuel has gone up by a modest 30x since last fall and is up about 250x since this time last year. However, T-Fuel's market cap is less than a fifth of Theta's, meaning it has a lot more room to grow. Now, although I initially took issue with T-Fuel's inflation, I'll admit that I failed to factor in the demand for T-Fuel that will come from elite edge nodes in Theta 3.0. While I also wasn't able to pin down a definitive figure for a minimum T-Fuel stake, the pre-elite edge node incentive leads me to believe that it will be 10,000 T-Fuel. This is a pretty low threshold considering this works out to around $400 at the time of shooting. Moreover, unlike Guardian nodes, edge nodes uphold a censorship-resistant decentralized video network that many people are begging for. This gives people a philosophical incentive in addition to an economic incentive to participate as an Elite Edge node. If Theta's goal of 100,000 Elite Edge nodes is achieved, this would work out to 1 billion T-Fuel staked, and that's assuming all these Elite Edge nodes stake the minimum amount. Given that T-Fuel's total supply is around 5.2 billion, a demand of 1 billion T-Fuel would do wonders for its price. Now, I suspect this is why T-Fuel pumped so aggressively over the last couple of months. The percentage gain in price was actually larger than Theta's. However, now that Theta 3.0 has been delayed, I think T-Fuel could see some sideways or even downwards price action until the summer. There is simply no reason for people to hold T-Fuel at this time, and the constant selling of T-Fuel rewards by Theta validator nodes, combined with inflation, is a recipe for a short-term disaster. On that note, Theta seems to have a couple of other issues on the horizon. 
You might be thinking that the biggest threat to Theta is competition, but this doesn't seem to be the case. In the cryptocurrency space, Theta seems to be the undisputed leader in decentralized streaming and has even partnered with many up-and-coming decentralized streaming protocols such as MovieBlock. LivePeer could be considered a contender, but only because it leverages Filecoin and IPFS. Now, it just so happens that Theta is also aiming to add support for the IPFS by the end of this year. Outside of the cryptocurrency space, Theta's head of strategy, Wes Levitt, recently explained that enterprises are looking to integrate with Theta rather than kill it. Many of them are actually looking to use Theta's decentralized streaming protocol as their main means of distributing video content and keep their centralized broadcasting networks as backup. According to Wes, the only thing stopping giants like Google from integrating Theta on platforms like YouTube is the lack of nodes to relay their streams on the Theta network. This is why Theta has been aggressively pushing to grow out its network of edge nodes, as they will also support the streaming capabilities of the entire Theta network and not just the Theta edgecast. Wes highlighted a bigger issue, however, and that's balancing the desire of institutions and regular users when it comes to the future of Theta. As you can imagine, tech giants aren't too keen on things like transparency and decentralization, yet these features are front and center in cryptocurrency. More importantly, institutions want to be able to moderate content, and that is a big no-no in crypto. While they can technically do this on their platforms while leveraging the Theta protocol, they will likely take issue with the uncontrollability of the Theta edgecast. Wes has stressed that Theta Labs has absolutely no control over the content shared on Theta Edgecast, which could lead to some serious consequences even if they are not legally liable. For example, if Netflix starts using Theta's protocol to stream their original movies or series, and someone else is streaming a pirated version of that movie or series on Theta Edgecast for free, well, that could be the end of Theta's partnership with Netflix. In the grand scheme of things, though, these are pretty good problems for a cryptocurrency project to have. If anything, these problems are a sign that Theta is doing something right, and that large-scale mainstream adoption of Theta might be around the corner. A recent tweet by Mitch Liu also hints that something else is around the corner. I wonder what it could be. Theta is definitely a cryptocurrency I wish I'd paid more attention to in the past. Theta Labs has accomplished so much in such a short space of time, and everything seems to have come together over the past year. When it comes to valuable real-world use cases, a decentralized streaming protocol is right up there with self-custodial peer-to-peer money. Theta's prolific partnerships also prove that its development has not been smoke and mirrors. On the contrary, Theta has laid the foundation required to become the foundation for the future of video streaming. While Theta Labs may be cozying up to these tech giants, I think I see a clever sleight of hand being played when it comes to Theta's elite edge nodes. As I mentioned earlier, edge nodes will not just power Theta's edgecast, but also provide critical support for any centralized entities that incorporate the Theta protocol in their infrastructure. This means that any attempts by tech giants to censor the Theta Edgecast would have a damaging effect on their own ability to stream content, since this would involve going after the edge nodes running it. What's more is that the demand for the T-Fuel tokens being earned by enterprise validators would also lose value due to the absence of demand that was previously coming from edge nodes. To be fair, this could lead to a sort of death spiral where enterprise validators bite the bullet and start to unstake their Theta and dump it on the market in protest. However, given the value of the technology Theta is bringing to the table, I think this is very unlikely to happen, especially since it's patented and can't be copied. Despite the pressure Theta Lab seems to be getting from the institutions they've partnered with, they seem to have the upper hand because of this. If and when platforms like YouTube start to turn to Theta for video streaming, I think that will mark the beginning of the end for centralized content distribution on the internet as a whole. If you agree, be sure to smash that like button. If you enjoyed today's video and want to make sure you see the next one, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell if you haven't already. If you want to know what I do when I'm off camera, you can find out by watching Macy follow me around on TikTok. 
If you're into hot takes, follow me on Twitter to feel the heat. And I know you folks are always keen to ask crypto questions, which is why I've started doing bi-weekly AMAs on Instagram. So make sure to follow me there so you don't miss the next one. You also do not want to miss the crypto market tips, tricks, and research that I share on the Coin Bureau Insider Telegram channel. If you're as serious about crypto as I am, you should subscribe to my free weekly newsletter. I share the sort of stuff you need to know to supercharge your cryptocurrency portfolio, and I'll even show you mine. If you want to look as fly as this crypto guy, you can suit up at the Coin Bureau merch store. Every purchase goes towards supporting the channel, so it's a win-win. So, you'll find the links to my socials, Telegram, newsletter, and merch store right at the top of that video description. That's it for today, my FOMO friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in about 24 hours. Timer starts now. Thank <laughs> you.